Right, so what we're going to do now the paint has dried, we're going to use a bit of Alk 600 Aqua Gloss from Alclad, um, which is a fantastic gloss base. And it is acrylic because we're going to be using a few different types of washers which are all enamel based. So what we're going to do is just paint it over and on rather than put it all in the airbrush and spray it on we'll just paint it on for this amount of time and just lay it down so that it's covered up on everything oops and when it's dry we can come back in and dry brush everything then the wash over top of the dry brushing so we're back in for the seat and everything and pushing it all around so that the wash we're going to put on will do the job in there that's looking tickety boot like so all at the back of the seat so we can put some grub and grime along it and the edge of the seat of course we've got the seat belts to put in there as yet and we'll do that shortly so that's the aqua gloss sorted So we'll let that dry now, which will take, I'm going to leave that overnight, we'll come back tomorrow, we'll put the seat belts in, we'll do some dry brushing, uh, and put the washing on, washers on. Right, so it's now the next day, we have, I don't know if I'll just pick that up. We have a glazed instrument panel via the uh, glue we used, which was the white micro crystal glue. So now we're ready to uh, seat belt her. So this is how we're going to do it. Right, so we've got our seat belts, we've got our references ready in the guise of the um, instruction manual we're looking at the which way goes which so we'll remove both sets from the edge let's see how we go make it all nice Right, again, looking at the reference, it seems that the both are the same. What we're going to do, we're just going to get our photo etch benders and have a quick look at roughly where we're looking here. there and then just bend them round so that they're ready to go in and we push the first one should go through the side but for some reason that's tight so we'll just make sure that's all clear Ready? Let's have another look. Let's see if she'll 
slide in and there you go. Right, so we don't push it quite all the way home. I get our cocktail stick and a tiny amount of glue. And lay that on the back. And with the cocktail stick, we'll push it in so that she's flat. Now what that does, that allows that seat to be on there, that seat belt there. Uh, what we can do is just hold that side and lay it down flat, just like that. So that that's in. You can just put a little tiny bit of super glue underneath her and she'll lay down flat just like we want that's that side now the other side it's a little bit simpler because of where it lays just check on the references again and it's quite easy Put a little bit more this time, turn it right over, and a little bit of glue, make it a nice little angle, get our, just check where the seat belt comes over, goes right over that angle so just lay it over like that and push it tight into place so that the seat belts overlap each other and then again tiny weeny bit of super glue underneath and just push her down into place. I tend not to use kicker on glue, super glue, because it turns it very white very quickly. So I want to try and avoid that if we can. It. there you go that's your lap belts in place we have the while that bit's drying what we'll do we'll get the compass which needs to be painted black we'll just paint that black quickly when I can find it, and what part it is. Here we go, F43. I think this is F, if I'm correct. G. This should be F. 37. 43. There she is. So we just take her off. What we'll do we'll just use a little bit of super glue because we've painted the area and if you start putting tet on paint it will just dissolve it so we'll just put a little tiny bit of glue turn it round and sit her in just like that let's see 
tiny amount of black paint with a tiny brush get my hands covered in the stuff and what we're going to do is get some black on our compass like so and then a little trick while that paint is dry just clean the brush up quickly we have a photo etch piece for the top of our compass so we take that off like so and that's that taken care of the next part is the control column which is going to be a little bit fiddly uh, I'm going to check everything the way things go correct so that can then go underneath just take the pliers diddly do Get her lined up. I missed up. Now you can see it. Broken that bit. Bit of glue. In fact, what we'll do first is put this bit in. I think. Say warts and all. Right, that's our control column in. Then we'll put a little bit of glue on her. Slightly off centre. Are up, push it to where we want. Right, so that's in place, so that's all ready to go. Now we have another small piece which is going to go on the top, like so, which is our gun sight. So there are two parts to this, so we'll just put a little bit of glue in there to hold it, make sure it's up the right way, slide it in just like so right so that's no issues I 
if it's even looking good. Now the second part is completely clear of that gun sight on that gun sight. So what we'll do we'll have a little tiny bit of super glue. Being very careful and looking where we're going to put it. It actually slides on that bit. And again, it needs a bit of a clean up. There it is. Not too much, just a quick swipe round. That's what we want to do. Super glue out of the way. Um, again, check the orientation, and it lays. It's got to work this out just on there. So hopefully, we get this camera to focus. go so you can see the seat belts are in the gun sights on the instrument panel is done so we're now getting somewhere right next parts our first part to do would be to get our other piece of seat belt and just check and see how it goes through to about there and that's how we want it just like that so what I'll do, I'll just again a little tiny bit of super glue at the top. This is purely just to hold it for now. Let that settle. The next part, which is, we're going to need to put in. F56 there this is the part I missed yesterday to be honest I completely forgot about it Literally, we'll just quick swipe over. That's fine. Take the fuselage half, which we've already painted, and we're going to put some extra thin because I'm going to repaint that, so it's not an issue. Put that in. line it up sorry so you can see I didn't think what I was doing I'll just let that go off for a few seconds turn the compressor on ready we can now What we're going to do now is get our bits ready and 
fit our main body, our main part of the cockpit in. We'll take that off for a second. It's all trial and error, even after doing all these all this time. This bit. Just lining everything up so that it's right. Just like so. Okay, so hopefully now. Ooh. It seems a lot better. It's all in, ready to go. So now our next step is to remove it from the sprue parts. Nice and tight. And this bit as well. That's ready for the internal. We've got the seat belt ready to go on. Now, Edard, thank goodness, have got this bit where they put their lugs or their sprue joints. So, all you do is just take off little bits rather than stress the plastic when you snip everything off so that's what we're going to do just clean these up make sure we haven't left anything and then all we're going to do with a very fine sand stick a few swipes wherever we need to, we don't want to make a hole so we're just taking bits off just like so same for this side Hopefully we don't cause too much damage and there'll be no big gaps to fill. If not, we just use some Vallejo putty. All we're doing at the minute, as I said, is just clean the stuff up. And we'll do a quick line-up check just to see how good or how bad we are. As you can probably see, the seams are nigh on perfect, which is exactly what we're looking for. Right.